Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to P-BAM Vlogs and today we're doing another BAMS product pick review. Spring is right around the corner. We're going to be outside biking with the family. So I just wanted to go over the WeHoo iGo Kid Bike Trailers. So last year when our daughter turned two and she was ready to go on some bike rides, we did have one of those kid seats for our bikes. But I wanted to get one of those trailers for our bicycles. Could store some stuff in it while you go on your trips. A little bit safer. The kids can enjoy the bike ride a little better. But I had the Swin Trike bicycle and it's got two wheels in the back. And most of the kid trailers either have a straight bar or curved from the side to attach to the bike. And I couldn't do that with the two wheels on the back of the trike. So I was looking for something if there was any design that actually went over the wheel instead. And I came across these these weehoo trailers totally different it was made a guy somewhere in europe had an engineering background he wanted more of a non not more of a cruise for a kid more fun interactive a little more open so he designed this one with the seat the bar goes over the wheel and what happens with that is you're able to go mountain biking with this pretty much you can go a lot of off-road trails gets the kids more involved he put fake pedals on some of the designs kids can learn the pedal and they can enjoy the ride all open so let's check out some of the models they have all right, right here is pretty much one of their standard ones. This is the WeHoo iGo bike trailer, and it's a single seat. Comes with a saddlebag, so it's got pouches on both sides, and it's got fake pedals so they can have fun entertaining themselves or learn how to bike ride. It has a bar that goes over the wheel, and then it has the foot straps on the pedals, and then you got the chest straps. Then they have one, that, which is the version that we got, is the iGo Blast, and it's pretty much the same thing, but it just doesn't have any pedals on it or the bag. But we just ordered the bag separately because you can get separate parts for all these bikes as well and these all range from one to four years old load capacity around 80 pounds and then the same thing this has the straps for the feet here no pedals and the chest straps or if you want to use it for lugging around stuff they made a cargo cart and this one's pretty cool this is the two bike trailer the front one has pedals the other one just has straps in the back and you either could have two kids riding with you at the same time or i've seen people turn this into a cargo seat as well and you can put stuff in it and it's got the saddlebag in the back and this is the Venture. I like this too as well. It's just like the two-seater, but it's just the one-seater. And then it's got a big bag in the bag. And this is really good for adventures. Is why they call it Ventures, actually. <laughs> and this one's up to ages two and nine. And then they do make a stroller version. And this is cool because you could also use it as a jogger. Or you can attach it to the back of your bike as well for a kid trailer. We got the iGo Blast. This model here, the iGo Blast, they list on here for $225. That's around the same price. You can get them probably for anywhere from $175 to $200. We went to a local store, so I believe they had a sale as well, so I think I got it for $1.99. But this is the one that has the foot straps, the chest straps. It did not come with the bag in the back, but I just bought the bag, I forget, for like 20 bucks or something like that. And it's just a saddle bag, but it's real good to carry your kids, you know, extra pamper stuff or the bottles or snacks or anything like that. And also with the bars around it, you can attach like cup holders or something like that or, or extra bags as well. I found even like the handlebar bags that you buy for bikes can fit on the side and I've seen people put cup holders in them and that's pretty cool too for their sippy cups but it's really easy to install and when I put it together there's maybe like four or five things to put together the arch bar comes apart so it's easier to store you can leave it together or if you have space issues you can take that one bar part and it's just the wheel part and the seat and then the one bar and the only other installation you have to do is under your bike seat there's a hitch that you just need to put right through the bar and then that's what the arch bar from the Wii Hoo trailer hooks onto to your bike and you're pretty much all set to go if you're wondering if that bar clears that wheel when you turn it definitely does because i put it on my trike which has two wheels in the back which is way wider and i haven't had any problems of it rubbing or anything touching the wheel and it works fine and then just sit your kid in put the shoulder straps over their shoulders And then you just put their feet right on top where their feet rest there at the bottom. Then they got the Velcro straps on the top and you just have to adjust those, slip their feet right in and then just snug them tight. And then it has an elastic band that goes on the back of the heel, just kind of keep a little bit of pressure to keep their foot in place. If you're worried about if their feet are gonna slip out or fall, 
not at all these are very secure once those feet are in if you put those two in correctly even if it didn't have that elastic band on the heel their feet would still stay in those straps are really good and I've also noticed with my daughter she doesn't even want to take her feet out of them when we jump in that trailer she puts them up sometimes she has fun even trying to put the velcro on herself so don't even worry about them if you think they want to drag their feet once you get going I think they know like they do not want to put their feet down <laughs> but I use these for errands take them out on just family trips and we go to the park real quick when she's bored at home definitely recommend to have your kids wear helmets our kid will be definitely wearing a helmet this year but last year the first year we had them she just wasn't having it she didn't even let us comb her hair or even wear regular hats so but we're definitely safe with her on them and she has a lot of fun with it we go all over town different roads you definitely can go on dirt trails with these things I've seen a lot of different videos on different channels people completely take these off-roading and the kids have fun and they're totally safe definitely check out their website ridewehoo.com you can see if they have any models that fit your needs go check it out check out other YouTube videos online the Weehu I go kid trailers for your bicycles the one we reviewed today was the I go blast check out all other review videos or unboxing videos in our playlist section I got links for you up in the corner there or you can check them at the end of the video thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you guys on the next video or stream later